hi guys and welcome back to the channel i'm just saying my piece and uh, this is building your dream house in jamaica now we often talk about all the amenities that we need to have all the things that we would like to have um for many of us who have lived abroad we have gotten accustomed to one thing that we never had before at least not we didn't have when we were young anyway and that is you know taking a shower in water that is not icy cold and many of you who have to get up in the mornings especially if you live in places like mandeville christiana coley mountain spaldings uh, Sunbury, all those places that are on the spine of Jamaica. You all know what I'm talking about. The temperature can sometimes get down to 16 degrees at night. Um, yes, it does happen. So, we want to talk about warm water. Now, this is a solar heater, believe it or not. Now, this is the simplest form of solar heater that you can actually have. I made this one myself. Now, this was an experiment I did four years ago. And uh, I wanted to see what would happen, how long this sort of thing would last. So, I had this four years, yeah, no, about five almost. 2018, I made this. So, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Too. yeah so five years give or take I made this now I left this outside on the zinc on the corrugated zinc that is used to cover the tank and it has been there since then and it has simply been burning in the Sun and so on so the idea was to see whether or not it would hold up to the elements and as you can see the cement is a little yellowed and but the joints are still strong. The joints are still strong and it has held up wonderfully. The, the plastic is still viable. It hasn't cracked. Uh, it has become a little yellowed as one would expect if it gets in the sun, but it has held up. Now, solar heater, you're wondering seriously, I mean, how can this be a solar heater? Now, think about it. I'm sure many of you have taken a shower during the day and you turn your tap on and you wait a little bit and somehow the water is magically warm and after that it gets really cold that water that is warm is of course the pipe or sections of the the pipe that was exposed to the sun or very close to the surface of whatever wall that it was in and of course that part of the water is now warm as the water flows through and that amount of water that was in the pipe passes then the cold water comes along so same principle so how this works is actually very simple what i did i got these um these t joints as you can see and of course i simply cemented them in i cut them all to length i do not remember what length this was but as you can see they're all cemented together there you are and these joints are not going anywhere and these are all t joints as i said now here's your elbow joint right there now, if you take a look at it, what you will see is that there's an opening there and there's an opening there. This opening here is where the water enters. This top opening here is where the water exits. Now, this is the simplest sort of water heater that you can get. Now, what you are going to do with this is paint it black and by paint I mean you just go to the hardware store you grab a rattle can and you go Shh, bam Bob's your uncle it's done it's painted black and the reason you are going to paint it black is because black absorbs more energy and so it will heat the water faster that is in this pipe now the water will come through here so if you are connected to a pressurized system you're going to have the water come through there and it is going to fill all these slowly 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 blah 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 now this entire system is going to be full now this here this is the exit so the water that is in here is going to come through the bottom there fill up this and then exit through the top now that is very important because um, hot water or warm water will rise and cold water will remain at the bottom and you want that you do not want to put the water through here 
and send it down and have it exit at the bottom uh, although that may seem the most obvious thing to do and i'll explain later that 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 can actually be done too depending on your water source but to continue the water will come through here and fill all these tubes here and uh, then the water will exit here. Now what you are going to have is a control. So you're going to have a tap attached right here. And, and then and that tap is going to exit into a container, say a small plastic barrel. One of those plastic barrels that we all know, one of these, one of these. So you are going to have it exit into one of these plastic barrels. Now, you can and you should have the barrel insulated so you can have some sort of um, uh, fiber, wool fiber, um, glass fiber, any sort of normal insulation and you would wrap that completely around this barrel and uh, tape it up and put it in a section where of course that is not going to get wet. So the water would trickle out of this here and when I say trickle I do mean trickle because you do not want it to flow have a very large flow coming out of here you're going to have it pressurized coming here of course and the pressurized water is going to fill all of this now you want to give the water in here a little bit of time to you know lose that um shall we say ouch about it so it is going to rise uh, a few degrees and it, it will then slowly so you're going to have a control tap here and that you tap will allow the water to trickle slowly into the blue barrel or whatever insulated container that you will have and then that container will then be attached to your shower because really it's the shower you need what you're trying to do is not jump underneath that very cold water and uh, as long as you get the water up of above a few degrees maybe around about uh 25 30 degrees you're good to go mm. i don't know if you really want it that hot but yes it will get to get that hot and you'll be good to go so you have it trickle and it um a small enough barrel you will have the water trickle out slowly and you'll have in, you'll be doing that all day and so you are not really using any energy to do that because if it is a pressurized system that you have um say something that's connected to the public water supply then it will already be pressurized and will simply just flow through right here and go into your storage container from which you can shower usually using gravity of course that is just a part of the system now this is for demonstration purposes only of course you are going to make sure that whatever it is that you construct is going to look a little better than this as i said this is simply for demonstration purposes only this is um, zinc or corrugated steel and as you can see each one of these sits neatly inside of the corrugation and the beauty about that is that um, it will reflect the energy of the sun back onto these pipes containing the water. So what you would do is make a small box that this would be, this would sit in and you would place a sheet of corrugated steel behind it in the box and you would then paint that black as well as you would paint the the pipes black and that will um that will also absorb a lot of energy now there is a another school of thought that says that you should in fact paint it silver so that it would would reflect more of the sunlight onto the pipes experiments have shown that that is not true it, that that does not work but in any case you would make a box and this would sit inside of that box and then the whole thing would be painted black now if you want to increase the temperature increase the efficiency of your little solar water heater you would then get a sheet of glass and put on top of that 
and uh, you would try to make the entire thing as airtight as possible so to that end any little holes and so on that would be existing in your box and by the way you would make the box out of wood and any little hole that would be existing inside of that box you would then fill with uh, silicone to prevent air from coming out and the idea being that as the air heats up inside of that box then the it would transfer the heat to your pipes here in a more efficient manner so a very small heater such as this would be all you would need in a say a three-person household to get hot water really to fill that drum there and you would of course experiment to see how hot the water could get and then you would increase the flow from your tap accordingly so that um, you don't have to get the water very very hot and coincidentally you could get more water going through this small heater as the day goes by now we did say that the best way of doing it is to have the water enter here and exit here but there are situations where you do just you just do not have a pressurized system and so you can in fact have your water enter here and exit there you could do it exactly the same way i said where you have the box and so on and so forth but simply have the water enter at the top and exit at the bottom now it will not be as efficient as when it enters from the bottom and uh, exit at the top but you will still have hot water warm enough water anyway to get a nice decent shower um, at five o'clock in the morning especially my friends in Mandeville where we do know that it can get icy cold at night Mm, Coley Mountain, Coleyville, Spalding, all those places where the temperature is, um, shall we say, unpleasant at times. So this is what you can do. You can, can store your water and you can have a very, very cheap, very, very cheap, very efficient solar water heater. And yes, this does work. Anyway, guys. I'm just saying my piece and uh, this has been another episode of building your dream house in Jamaica. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share the videos and please do not forget to hit the notification bell as well. That notification bell, very, very important. It sits on the right hand side of the subscription button and when you hit that, all my videos, you will get them. They will all come straight into your inbox so guys thanks for watching and as usual you all have a great day